We're in a series talking about the wisdom keys of Solomon, keys to discovering a long, healthy, happy, and prosperous life. King David said the Lord's word was a lamp to his feet and a light to his path. In other words, it showed him the way to go. In older times before satellite technology and GPS systems were around, captains of ships had to trust the light and the signal that they saw from a lighthouse or a fire on the shore and in bad weather at night. And the purpose of the lighthouse was to shine the light, helping the captain of the ship know where the rocks and the cliffs were so they could navigate safely to the harbor. The Bible is God's written voice. It will guide you, it will make you wise, successful, and it will lead you to a long and prosperous life if you follow it. Sadly, a lot of people look in so many other places for wisdom and direction before they look to God and His Word. And I suggest you look up for guidance before you look around. Learn to trust the Holy Spirit to give you discernment about what is truth, what is right and wrong. One of the wisdom keys from Solomon for success is found in Proverbs and it's called diligence. Solomon says diligence is more than working hard. It's more than being persistent. You know, you can work hard and you can be persistent and still come up short of success or short of your goal. You may have heard the expression, don't just work hard, work smart. Well, working smart means doing what's right. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 11 says, even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. Pure and right are important keys to working smart versus just working hard. God has given you a measure of time and talent and treasure. Talents are your abilities, the ability to speak, to articulate, the ability to think strategically, vision, the ability to see beyond the natural into the supernatural. All these and many more are talents. Treasure comes in many forms. Treasure means something of value and worth. Treasure isn't just about money or material things. Family relationships are a treasure. Friendships are a treasure. Health is a treasure. It's important that you invest your time, your talents, and your treasure into things and people that bring pure return on the investment of your time and talent and treasure. I encourage you, don't invest your time in a relationship that isn't bringing you pure return. Don't invest your talent in a job that isn't bringing you pure return or your treasure in an investment that isn't bringing you pure return. How do you discern relationships, jobs, and investments that are right and worth pursuing? Well, we're going to talk about that tomorrow as we explore four words from Solomon that describe what's right and pure. I hope you'll join me.